What's up creators, it's your boy, Mad Mike. And on today's episode, we're gonna be addressing the headlight covers on the Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kit car. So stay tuned, check it out. Yee! So today is gonna be a little bit different as I'm filming on my iPhone 11. So usually I'm filming with a Canon G7X, which is a super awesome vlogging camera. But just for simplicity, I'm gonna try filming on my phone a little bit more. I'm gonna check it to see if the audio picks up a little bit better because I live next to a highway, it's super busy. Right now trucks are going down the road, so I don't know if you can hear them or not. But other than that, we're filming on the iPhone and today we're gonna to be working on the headlight covers on the Ferrari Koenig kit car. And guys, I forgot to mention, we did it. We hit 500 subscribers. I am beyond stoked. I cannot believe it. It's been about a year and a half of hard work, slow growth, but you know what? It's really starting to pay off. One of the recent videos of me spraying my brother's truck with some Rust-Oleum product is getting like over 15,000 views. So my channel's growing, it's all starting to pay off. We hit 500 subscribers, so hurrah to that. That's a huge pat on the back. But with all that being said, thank you guys very much for supporting me, subscribing to my channel, and uh, leaving comments, it means a lot. So make sure to share this stuff, and let's get wrenching on the car. Alrighty guys, so if you're new to the channel, this is my 1985 Pontiac Fiero Ferrari Testarossa Koenig Edition replica. It's a kit car that I picked up. It was in the weeds. It was covered in mud, moss, the windshield was cracked, body was all cracked up, wheels were all flat. So we're reviving the car. It's been a year of steady progress on the car. I've done all the mechanical stuff to it. Uh, it's running, it's driving. So the body's been all prepped for paint. So that's the next thing. In the last episode, you guys probably saw, we got all the rear grills uh, and the engine covers for the car resprayed in black. So next into the spray booth is the car. So today, let's work on the headlights. Once that's done, you can see I'm inside my carport and all the windows are completely blown out. The whole thing caved in. We got some 90 kilometer an hour wind here the other day, but we're getting some nicer weather now. So with this nice weather, I can fix the carport so I can do all the final body work to the car and it stays nice and dry. And then we can get a car trailer, load it up on the car trailer and bring it over to my buddy's shop. But let's get back to the headlights. So the headlight covers. These are quarter inch Lexan or plexiglass if you want to call it that. And as you can see on this one here, I started to make a template, which I'm going to do the reverse on the inside and then spray paint it black. So when you look at the headlight from here, it'll be all smooth, but the paint on the back side will give you this border of the headlight. What I want to do today is angle these down a little bit more like this so that they kind of follow the body lines a little bit better. And then I'm going to play around with the thickness of these edging around here. I'll show you guys some photos of the real ones so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna kind of play around with different dimensions of borders and different shapes. And once I'm done playing around with it and I choose one that it looks best, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead, monkey around, get creative, make some different template patterns, and then we'll cut the Lexan and see if it looks better with having the Lexan stop about three inches up. So right now I'm just kind of monkeying around with some tape, just playing around with some different designs. What I'm trying to do is match the distance from the front bumper to here and match this curve. So that's starting to look pretty good. I think I'm gonna come up a little bit higher here. I'm gonna grab my ruler and just do some measuring here, but that's gonna determine how wide my border's gotta be down here to cover up this um, body line. So we'll monkey around with that a little bit more and yeah, then we'll cut out our templates. Thank you. 
starting to take shape so my outline is starting to look pretty good so I'll show you guys what I'm working with here second template all laid out so you're gonna go ahead cut it up it'll be a flipped image then I can color it in black all right let's go ahead and color it in might take a bit, but wish I had a bigger marker. If I had some black spray paint, that would work too. That ain't gonna work, it's gonna take way too long. All right, what I had to do, because when I flipped my template over, it was white on one side and it's like this reflective chrome on the other. So when I was using the markers, it wasn't really working that great. So I just went ahead, grabbed some electrical tape, covered up the whole template. I'll flip it over, I'll just trim up these corners and then I'll have two black templates that I can then put below my headlight covers. Right now these are just the Bristol board mounted underneath the Lexan covers. So once that's painted black on the back side, they'll be a lot more vibrant. As you can see, the one with the electrical tape stands out a little bit more, but it's looking pretty good. and grab a jigsaw and cut the Lexan because there's no need for it to be that long anymore.